Hey everyone, this is Stephen Strawn at Cast Iron Cookware, where you can find information to help you better collect, restore, and use cast iron cookware. Today I'm going to be cooking a scrambled egg in a rusty cast iron skillet, and I'm going to be doing that coming right up. Before we get started, I want to say thank you to everyone that's purchased my product, Easy Beasy Cast Iron Seasoning. The purchase of this product helps keep this channel going, and I just want to say thank you so very much. So let's get on into the video. Not too many days ago, I cooked a fried egg in a rusty cast iron skillet to demonstrate that the seasoning is not the only thing that makes cast iron non-stick, but it's also temperature control and the type of oil that you're using and the seasoning does have an effect as well. All three of these make cast iron great to cook in. So by popular demand, I had a lot of people say, well, why didn't you do a scrambled egg? Because a scrambled egg is gonna stick where a fried egg won't. And I got to thinking, yeah, you're right. That is the case. A scrambled egg will stick before a fried egg will. So here we go. We're gonna cook a scrambled egg in a rusty cast iron skillet. And today I have a Birmingham stove and range. Looks like a hand scribed number eight red mountain skillet and you know it's a birmingham stove and range number one the skillets will almost always except for the larger pieces have a ridge on the handle the teardrop shape the heat ring and just the shape of the handle itself so this is going to be a nice one right here once i get it finished so let's pull our camera down and we'll take a look at this one while we cook. As always, we're going to start it on a low temperature and then raise it up as the cast iron gets warm. Now the perfect temperature for scrambled eggs is a little over 140 degrees. So we're already at 132. So we're getting close already. So we're going to put our pad of oil right there. Watch our temperature, 158, we're actually a little high. Once our butter gets melted, we're gonna put our scrambled eggs in. Pour our eggs in. The trick to scramble eggs is not to start stirring right away because when you do that, you're going to cause it to stick. So I usually just go ahead and let it cook until I know that the bottom layer is cooked. And just for the record, you can see right here, we're already able to, to lift. Try to turn it where you can see better. Usually when I scramble eggs, once I get to this point, I will just bulldoze along. And then flip. Go ahead and cut our gas off again because we're getting close to being done. And the little bits around the edges, they just come off too. And these eggs are done. So 
So we're going to scoop these out. We don't have any sticking at all. You notice, even along the edge right here, it's not stuck, it's just sitting there. So, temperature control and oil makes a huge difference. I'll take a quick look here and just show you. So let me turn this up. If you notice, there is a little, just a tad of sticking right there. Not very much, maybe a little right there, it comes right loose. And then around the edges, maybe a little bit right there. Okay, I'm also gonna ask the million dollar question. How do they taste? Perfect. I didn't even have to add any salt. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I made a second batch while I was off camera because I really wanted some scrambled eggs. So let's recap. The seasoning on a skillet does help with nonstick, but the number one purpose for it is to protect the cast iron from rust. It also makes it easier to clean up. Now, if you got a rusty skillet, this is what you're going to get when you clean up. And I'm telling you, that's yucky. So if you practice temperature control and use the right amount of oil, you're going to do fine. Even if you're cooking in a rusty skillet. Me personally, I would not recommend it. But I will say this, cooking one time on a rusty skillet gets it a pretty good start toward seasoning. Now, I would not suggest that you season a rusty skillet. You want to get rid of the rust first before you start seasoning. I hope that you've enjoyed this video, and if you have, please do not forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell, and I promise I'll keep more coming. And I just want to say thank you again for watching Cast Iron Cookware. Honey, I got your eggs ready. <laughs> before you go, I just want to share something with you really quickly. In Psalms chapter 55, verse 22, it says, Cast thy burdens upon the Lord, and he shall sustain thee. He shall never suffer the righteous to be moved. I just want to say, share the word, and be a blessing.